Greetings Flameborn, we're thrilled to introduce Entrada's biggest update yet, Souls of the Frozen Frontier. Let's dive in. First up, the Albany Summits, a massive new snow biome that towers above the world as the highest peak on the map. This frozen landscape is home to breathtaking vistas, daunting peaks and new settlements that tell the story of the ancient civilization that once lived here. The Albany summits bring with them fresh new challenges as new enemies and fauna await. This biome transfers the way you approach combat and survival. Its frozen beauty is more than just a visual change. It deeply impacts gameplay making every decision in its harsh environment critical. Along with the Albany summits, we're introducing a completely new weather system. This dynamic system brings the world to life with changing weather throughout the day. But it's not just the snow. Rainstorm sweeps across the regions of Ambervale, adding to the immersion and making the world feel more alive than ever before. Speaking of bringing the world to life, let's talk about the new threats you'll face. We are introducing new scavenger enemies with fire focused attacks from the flamethrower scavenger and the whip wielding champion, who not only attacks but buffs allies. You will also encounter a new variation of the foe you already know, the Cyclops. This massive male brute roams caves and his corrupted version can be found in the Shroud, ready to challenge even the most seasoned players. Speaking of Shroud, keep an eye on the new Fogger Spawhead Mage. And of course, we've added new wildlife and their new variations, including the Mountain Yak, Snow Leopard and a Mountain Goat. Now, let's move on to a complete revamp of NPCs. Your crafting NPCs can now roam freely around your base, following daily routines. At night, they will seek out beds you assign them to sleep in, so you can create dedicated living quarters for your survivors. Their happiness is now tied to having a sheltered bed, so be sure to take care of their needs. After all, they're walking for free. We've also introduced assistant crafting NPCs who can be found throughout the world and be placed in secondary bases, giving you access to crafting recipes without having to move your main NPCs. But that is not all, we are also introducing townsfolk to make your bases feel more alive. These NPCs can be found and rescued around the world and come with quests, dialogue and interactions. And Shrouded is about restoring a kingdom and these are your um, first subjects. And now let's talk about something you have been all asking for, animal farming. You can now tame and capture wildlife, bring them back to your base. Once there, they will produce resources like wool, milk, eggs and feathers, as long as they are fed and sheltered. Animals can breed and produce offspring, and yes, you can even pet the baby animals. Pets are also making their way into your base. Cats and dogs can now be tamed, roaming freely in your settlement. They don't provide resources, but will give you buffs when petted. And with 5 coats for dogs and cats, there's a good chance your pet in game will look like your pets in real life. Moving on to miscellaneous stuff. We're increasing the max player level to 35, and the flame can be upgraded twice to help you venture into the new deadly shroud zones. You will also be able to unlock new weapons, new armor sets, and a reward glider system. And also, Ice is a terrain block, which will let you have fun sliding across frozen surfaces and perhaps put you on a collision course. The grappling hook has also been enhanced. It can now pull flying enemies towards you or launch you into the combat against larger foes. In order to use the new grappling hook mechanic, you will have to unlock it in the skill tree. Finally. We've added new building materials and furniture to keep your creative side busy, from polished granite and obsidian to icy terrains and luxurious furniture sets. Your base building possibilities have never been greater. But wait, there is more. Like, actually, a lot more. Too much to cover here, so check the full patch notes linked in the description. We hope you enjoyed everything that Update 4 has to offer. From the Albany summits to the dynamic weather and bustling townsfolk, this update is about making the world of Entrouded bigger and livelier than ever before. On that note, we'll see you in the next one.